Hi, this is Peter from the IDR team in the IDR analytical workflow series. Uh, let me tell you today how uh, about an example which gives you a lead about how to fetch and segment an image and compare the results with the ground truth stored in IDR. Um, we have in IDR the uh, image submitted by uh, authors. The first author of the publication is Blin from the Salgas Lovis Lab in University of Edinburgh. The image is of uh, mouse blastocysts and they also submitted with that into IDR the segmentation label, uh, which were during curation process turned into Omero ROIs. Now, in this example provided by the IDR team, we will uh, show you um, how to fetch the image into a Python-based analysis environment and uh, analyze it with a package called Stardist, and then compare the uh, results of our analysis here on the right with the labels originally submitted by the authors which we will also fetch from the IDR here on the left. So step by step, first we will fetch image planes from IDR uh, into a NumPy array. Uh, NumPy being a Python library for scientific computing. We will reorder the planes of the image and segment the planes using Stardist. Stardist is a uh, open source uh, software developed at the EPFL in Lausanne, Switzerland. The Stardist will produce for us two segmentation representations, first labels and then also polygons, uh, polygon shapes. We will then fetch the original labels from the IDR submitted by the authors and compare the IDR labels with our newly created Stardist labels. Lastly, we will save the Stardist uh, segmentation polygons as GeoJSON so that you have the idea about how to create outputs from those examples. To set up the analysis environment, we produced a separate video so-called analysis environment setup video, you will find it on the Open Microscopy YouTube channel. Please consult this video. It is also in the same playlist as this very video. We also have a link to the setup video in the description of this video. And uh, if you are very familiar with uh, software installations, you might be um, just uh, going straight into the readme of Omero Guide Python repository, where you will find step-by-step -step instructions. Um, so let us go through the example workflow in a Jupyter Notebook. I have here an environment built already. I'm using the Conda way from the setup. I open the Notebooks folder and I open the IDR0062 prediction IPBY and B notebook. I will have to change the kernel to start this as indicated in the setup video. Now let's now let's have a look at the image inside the IDR. These are the nuclei which uh, were segmented by the authors and which we will segment anew in our analysis environment. And I will show you now the overlaying, the segmentation labels submitted by the authors, which are stored in the IDR as uh, uh, ROIs. Going back to our uh, notebook, in our analysis environment, I can skip the first cell. It's a Google Colab only, I'm using Conda. And I will first import uh, some libraries, very importantly, the NumPy library, and then I connect it in the second cell to IDR. This is giving the notebook the 
idea about the ID and this is fetching the image object, not the image plane itself, not the binary data. This is a helper method to load the binary data, which reorders the binary data. Um, we are talking about 5D image, the three uh, spatial dimensions, channels and time. And this image will have to be reordered into uh, the order of T, C, Z, Y, X. Uh, and we will fetch it as a NumPy array. This is what this method is uh, is doing. And now we will only uh, fetch the uh, real binary data. This will take a short while. This is done now. It is a, we just printed the dimensions here. It is a two channel image with uh, 257 Z sections. Now we will load the Stardist train model. Uh, this is a default model for Stardist and uh, we don't have any ambition of uh, making a perfect segmentation. This is done. Now we will run the segmentation on the image planes which we fetched from IDR. Uh, we will go through the image plane by plane and segment each one. We will use for that the first channel, uh, meaning the channel one, which is the second channel, pardon me, because the first channel is channel zero. And uh, in each plane, we will produce two kinds of results. First, in the new labels, we will produce uh, binary uh, result, which we will then uh, append into an array and uh, turn this array into a NumPy array in the variable called label slices. And this will be a binary array, uh, which we will then comp uh, of the labels produced by studies, which we will compare later with the um, original labels submitted by authors here in this notebook. We also produce another uh, set of results and these are the details. The details are basically the uh, coordinates of the polygon shapes, which uh, are another representation of the segmentation done here by Stardist. Um, you can hear, you can read the description of uh, the uh, of the detailed working of the Stardist model uh, in the notebook itself. Okay, so this is done now. Now we will load from IDR the um, labels produced by the authors. We will use the uh, API to fetch the labels uh, as ROIs from IDR and the labels have the same uh, dimensions F as the image itself. Now we will compare the labels uh, uh, from the authors, which are in the uh, variable called labels. Uh, this is in this cell here with the uh, label slices, which we remember are the uh, labels produced by Stardist. We run this cell, we will have the comparison uh, on the left, the labels from the authors and on the right, our Stardist created new labels. You can see it's a very nice comparison. You can slide the slider through Z here. And now we don't need anything more from IDR. We can close the connection. We still have the polygon coordinates in our variable here in an array and we we will iterate um, through uh, that array in this cycle and create uh, polygons and uh, we will then in the next cell save these polygons as GeoJSON which is a human and machine readable format so that you have an idea how to create an output 
uh, from uh, our examples and save it in a reasonable format. There is an option in studies to create also image J uh, ROIs, uh, but they are of course less interoperable than the GeoJSON, which we are offering here as an example. Uh, we saved the shapes as GeoJSON and the GeoJSON can be found in the uh, notebook environment. In the uh, Conda case, it's easy. I can go to file open and the GeoJSON is here and I can download it uh, if I click on it. Okay. Now, let me explain. IDR is uh, based on a software called Omero and uh, thus it is a, an Omero server. Uh, in IDR case, the Omero server is read only. Thus you cannot write data back into Omero server. The exercises into this Omero server, uh, but you might have another Omero servers which are read write, and you might be able to write the data into the exercises. Uh, explain to you how to uh, write uh, data into a read write Omero server, and by data I mean of course our polygons which we created in Stardust, and. Uh, with that, I would like to conclude this video. I hope that you enjoyed that. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.